Have you ever wondered what your curriculum actually looks like once you start at 42 Berlin? Today we will take a closer look. Das Internet ist für uns alle Neuland. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, before we start, let's zoom out. The whole curriculum can be divided into three parts. First, the piscine. Second, the core curriculum and the first internship. And third, the specialization and the final internship. It rarely happens that 242 students share the same journey and work on the exact same projects. Also, our subjects might change over time since we constantly iterate and improve them. Piscine is your entry into 42 Berlin. People from different backgrounds come together and learn about the fundamentals of C, Git and Bash. Don't worry if you have no idea what I'm talking about. The goal of the Piscine is to expose you to our unique learning environment and give you the best data possible to make the right choice of 42 Berlin is the best place for you. Many people join us without prior software engineering knowledge and we don't expect you to come prepared. But don't be fooled, hard work is required. My number one tip is always to free up your calendar for those four weeks. You will have a much higher chance of finishing the piscine without distractions and most importantly, you will fully enjoy your experience here at our campus. More information about our piscine will follow in the next videos. Step two, the core curriculum. One goal of 42 Berlin is to make you a skilled software developer, which requires a lot of training. This starts on your first day and continues until the end of your curriculum. During the core curriculum, you will focus on the fundamentals of software development. The objective of this period is to give you the set of universal skills that allow you to tackle most problems you would like to solve this code. Building a physical house requires knowledge of different tools. The same is true for software. Programming languages and frameworks might change over time. The fundamentals stay the same. The core curriculum features seven levels designed to take you through the essence of programming. Levels are represented as circles, one circle per level. Starting from the innermost circle, you will program your first library. As a software developer, you will constantly use other people's code often in form of a library that was written by someone else. The second level introduces you to three more projects. Did you ever watch the tutorial and had to write a program that would print Hello World? Let's go back one step and recode that print function from scratch. In the other two projects, you will understand the importance of reading information line by line and work on your first virtualization project. Excellent! The next level is unlocked and you will work on your first graphical project. Here you can choose between three problems. One of them is to discover the universe of fractals. You can also work on a visual representation of a three-dimensional physical object using computer graphics or you can choose to build your first 2D game. Never heard of signals, redirections or pipes in Unix? You will learn these concepts during the next two projects, where one of them will be necessary. Last, you will write and optimize a sorting algorithm and you will learn quite a bit about different data structures. It is getting interesting on this next level. The objective of your first team project is for you to create a simple shell. Yes, you will write a command line interface from scratch and you will probably feel like a hacker afterward. Oh, this is not good. What is that, a video game? No, Tony, we're getting hacked! I think one of my favorite projects during the core curriculum was Minishell because it's one of the very first projects where you have to build a real complex and complete application and see this project growing and be um, functional was very, very exciting. Eat, sleep, spaghetti, repeat. Whenever you hear a joke from a 42 student about not having enough forks, she probably endured the infamous Philosopher's Project. New level and a new choice between two graphical projects. Inspired by the world famous Wolfenstein 3D game, you will explore ray casting and create a first person video game. If that does not match your energy, maybe ray tracing might be better suited for you. Okay, 
Enough programming in C. Time to dive into object-oriented programming and start with a new language, C++. You will understand the nuances between different programming languages and gain the experience to choose the right one for your upcoming projects. Also, a bit of system administration does not hurt. Let's discover networking in the last project of this level. For me, the most challenging project was to build an HTTP server using C++. Again, you will be able to choose. The alternative is to create an IRC server. One of my favorite projects of the Common Core was WebServ, where we need to create an HTTP server from scratch. WebServ is a team project and I found the perfect and complementary a teammate to work on this project. The last two projects are about containers. The first one, Docker containers. You will visualize several Docker images, creating them in your new personal virtual machine. The second one, C++ containers. There are multiple available containers in C++ and all have a very different usage. And the last project, let's leave this one as a surprise. That was easy. In our opinion, the only effective way to become a good software developer is actually doing it and coding as much as possible. As shown, you will work on many diverse projects and exciting programs. Next to programming, we focus on soft skills such as problem solving, collaboration and giving and receiving feedback. At Forge 2 Berlin, you will learn how to learn. Third, the specialization. Actually, the specialization needs to be covered in a separate video, but you can think of it as the equivalent of a master's degree. And the goal is to become an expert in a domain you are interested in. The projects will be more complex, but also require more collaboration and take more time. Let me quote David. The core curriculum is designed to discover the basics of programming in a Unix environment. The advanced curriculum allows you to become an expert in a very high profile topic to acquire the skills to apply for the highest profile jobs in software engineering. Here are some topics we are currently focused on in our specializations. Graphics and video games, security, artificial intelligence, operating systems, web and mobile development, software engineering in automotive and mobility ecosystems. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you are a 42 student, I would be curious what your favorite project was during the core curriculum. Let me know in the comments. And if you are about to start your journey, let me know what project you might think is interesting. I see you next time on our way to Wolfsburg, where we will look at a specialization in detail. See you there.